All right, everybody. So in this video, let's talk about Mickey's Toontown and how this new uh, runaway railway attraction is going to fit, you know, architecturally with the existing land. So my dear friend, Disney Family Man 23, with my other dear friend, Vash Sky, they did an incredible discussion video on everything Toontown, Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway. And I wanted to kind of make a companion video to their video because I had a lot of thoughts. I, I really urge you guys to check out their discussion, link up above and at the end of the video. But I'm gonna play you a clip from that discussion. And on the other end of that clip, I wanna discuss with you guys my opinion on it because this is fascinating, fascinating stuff. So let's go ahead and listen to what he's saying here. Let me ask you this, that when the park, part of that park first opened, it was, designed to have this feel sort of like as a promotional deal for 1988's uh, Robert Zemeckis film, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. It had like that feel of Toontown and, you know, where Mickey and Minnie's houses and Goofy's bounce house and everything, Donald's boat and everything. So when you have that kind of architectural style that's been there for almost about 30 years, and then you're going to have an attraction that's now based on the newer style of Mickey Mouse. Do you think that's going to th kind of throw everything off that eventually that the land will then get this whole upgrade based on the newer type of animation? Okay. So you heard what George said here. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, Okay, there we go. So you heard what George was saying here. Basically, he's saying because the, the, the two styles are completely different, you know, Mickey's Toontown that currently exists and Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, do you think this is going to cause an issue for Toontown? And I'm here to say 1,000% no. And, and not only am I going to say it's not going to cause an issue architecturally, I'm actually going to encourage Disney to double down on that clash of architecture. And you're probably thinking like Orange Grove, why? Why would you want to make it more inconsistent? And here is my kind of reasoning behind that. If you look at tunes, cartoons, animation, whatever, in a broad sense, there's unlimited amounts of different styles of animation. And then even if you were to go into the Disney umbrella, whether it be Disney animation, Pixar, whatever, you have different styles even under just Disney. You know, you have everything from like DuckTales to Beauty and the Beast, right? So it's just completely different styles of animation. So for me, it makes sense if you're going to have realistically a land where tunes live, that there would be some sort of this weird kind of this beautiful kind of chaoticness, you know, chaos in terms of the architecture because not every animation style is the same. So I want Disney to have maybe that little corner where Runaway Railway is to have it in that old, in that Mickey Mouse shorts style. And then you know in other areas, you know keep the 1990s Roger Rabbit style architecture, but maybe even add an, another little section of you know Mickey's Toontown that is black and white and uh, you know Tunes have cartoons have varying varying styles, and I think that Toontown should re should be representative of those various styles. I think that you need that in a Toontown. It needs to have it needs to represent all the animation styles and kind of have that chaotic vibe to it. You know, it never really made sense to me to have one cohesive style in Toontown because not every cartoon is the same style. So yeah, embrace it. Embrace the different styles. Let the new runaway railway attraction clash with the old stuff. And then build other areas or remodel other areas of Toontown that clash with these sections. Because that's what cartoons are. They're different styles of animation. Even under that Disney umbrella, there's still different styles. So that's what I think they should do. I think that Disney should go all in, double down on various styles of animation in Toontown. And I think that would be a much more <laughs> realistic portrayal of what a cartoon land would be. No real <laughs> cartoon land is going to just be one style because not every cartoon is the same style. So that's my feeling on it. And uh, I hope Disney kind of follows that kind of mindset. Will they do that? I don't know. 
I really don't. I hope they do though, because I think it would be really, really cool. I mean, imagine like a black and white corner of Toontown where there's like everything's black and white. And then you turn the corner and it's the old school Toontown. And then you turn the corner and, it, and it's the Mickey and Minnie Runaway Railway style. Just have all these clashing styles would be so, so perfect in my opinion. But what do you guys think of this, of this you know, discussion over the different architecture styles in Toontown? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? What are your thoughts on it? I would love to hear from you. And just remember too, check out their discussion, Vast Sky and Disney Family Man's discussion. Link at the end of the video because they do a phenomenal job. Thank you and have a great day.